I've asked this question on humility. I mean, for me, humility, if you're doing spiritual work, you are practicing humility. But generally, like if you're in front of audiences, I mean, I really, as, as a student of enlightenment, but they also say this in 12 step groups for addiction, you know, the freedom from the bondage of self, freedom from the, well, freedom from the bondage of being in my ego would be the 12 steps, or of uh, course the miracles would be out of my ego into the infinite, into the infinite realm. Um, so uh, in the 12 step context, it would be like, don't, don't have thoughts about yourself, just be of love and service. So that works to not have th what's called thoughts about yourself, your, your individuated story, the future, the past, your body, or your finances, or whatever it is, relationships, health. So you're now more out of ego, which is the, which brings in, invokes infinite, the infinite divine realm. But uh, how I do it, I mean, I always loved um, what, uh, the thing of, you know, I, my, my sense of self, being a body and being invigorated thoughts of Sabir, shall we say, are no longer exist. That for me is the ultimate humility that I disappear. And so there's not a me left identification with my body or my personal story. So just the infinite me, which is not me, which is the absence of me, which is a paradox, the infinite me or uh, the infinite uh, is present when the limited self or the ego disappears. Um, so that's to, to be an instrument. So that for me is the highest, um, the highest level. Um, so um, if, if I am, if I do sense my body, experience of the body or experience of personal thoughts, then um, we'll be doing the observer practice or you could identify as someone was beautifully saying what belief systems are at play. Like I want to feel, is it that I want to be important? I don't want to be judged or uh, what, are, what are the key belief systems, which every time I'm, I seem to be plagued by, and then I could just, pray, oh, I think that's, um, I want to be, I want to have recognition or adoration or, or I don't want to have criticism. I don't want someone to say that I didn't like me or whatever it is. So you, you find out those fundamental beliefs. I can, and I cancel my belief that I need adoration from people. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. God did not create my need for adoration. It's not real. Uh, or it could be uh, God did not create my fear of judgment of others. Uh, it is not real. Or so I could identify those beliefs. I could be doing self-inquiry. If, um, if I feel I'm, my ego is going, I'm, I'm, I'm so amazing, I'm the best, or I'm the worst, or giving, or fearing judgment, or fearing whatever then I could do the observer. Oh, I think I'm in my personal story and in my body, but is there something, is there a witnesser here that's not my, sto my story and my body? Oh yes, oh, and then suddenly the body, my story is forgotten and the body is forgotten and that place, it takes care of itself. It doesn't need actually my thinking and my body present for it to function. So those would be some of the ways I would, I would share personally around humility, either identifying the core belief systems or just doing the observer.